Welcome to New Jersey Meet the Court. My name is Richard Palacio. I'm the host for today's show. And our focus today is going to be on the Court User Resource Center. Me llamo Ricardo Palacio. Soy el anfitrión del programa uh, Conozca al Tribunal. Y estamos aquí hablando del tema de los el Centro de Recursos. Y hoy tenemos a dos invitados. We have two special guests today. Um, uh, the, our first guest I would like to introduce is Miss Karen Michael. Hola, Richard. Hola, ¿cómo está? <laughs> Um, I am an admin specialist too. I work in trial court services and I work in the court, the court user resource center. Okay. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, uh, what she had said was, me llamo Karen Michael, soy uh, uh, especialista de la administración número dos y trabajo en el centro de recursos. We also have Stephanie de Jesus Vasquez. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Stephanie de Jesus Vasquez, and I am employee for the Superior Courthouse for a year and eight months. My title is a certified judiciary clerk, three bilingual. Okay. Hey, can you say that in Spanish too? Hola, mi nombre es Stephanie de Jesus Vasquez. He sido empleada de la Corte Superior por un año y ocho meses. Mi título es eh, un empleado judicial certificado tres bilingüe. Bilingual. So the program is bilingual. We service uh, people of all different uh, uh, languages. Uh, my next question to our uh, two our guests is um, if you could explain to our viewers what exactly you do at the Resource Center. ¿Qué es lo que hace ustedes exactamente en el Centro de Recursos? The Court User Resource Center is a quiet place where court users can come in and complete their court forms and we can personally assist them if they do need help to do so. They can also um, conduct legal research. We have law books there where they can look up statutes and court, um, court cases. We have computers set up also where they can conduct additional research on LexisNexis. Um, we have a promise gavel available. Court users can look up uh, criminal cases. We also have e-courts, public access, where they can look up civil cases. Um, para los eh, eh, oyentes, eh, Karen Michael acaba de explicar lo, de que lo que hacen en el Centro de Recursos es ayudar a los clientes del tribunal y, uh, en utilizar los eh, programas de la computadora, distintos programas que ella nombró para ayudarle a las personas a hacer investigación sobre los casos. Um, uh, maybe I can direct a question now to Stephanie. Stephanie, um, what, what do you do exactly at the Resource Center? ¿Qué hace usted en el Centro de Recursos? Eh, en el Centro de Recursos, ayudo a las personas a rellenar los formularios, eh, a traducirle de inglés a español para que ellos entiendan qué es lo que están haciendo y por qué lo están haciendo. De esta manera, ellos pueden tener un mejor entendimiento en, en el siguiente paso. Mm, muy bien. Um, and uh, before we get into the details, where could I find the Resource Center? Karen? Um, in Atlantic City, we have two of them, one in Atlantic City and one in Cape May Courthouse. The one in Atlantic City is, is located 1201 Backrack Boulevard. We're on the first floor in the West Wing. Um, and then the other courthouse is in Cape May Courthouse, 9 North Main Street. And as soon as you walk into the, one of the entrances, you probably can see the Resource Center right yes, away. Yes, yes, good point. Um, North Carolina Avenue entrance, and right. it's right there behind the glass. There you go. Uh, Stephanie, antes de que comencemos con más detalles, uh, ¿a dónde podría yo localizar el Centro de Recursos? Eh, estos Centros de Recursos están localizados en las siguientes direcciones. Eh, 1201 Bacara Boulevard, eh, Atlantic City en el primer piso. Y el segundo eh, Centro de Recursos está localizado en 9 North Main Street en Camp May. Y creo que cuando uno entra por una parte del edificio se ve el centro de inmediato, ¿no? Es correcto. Wow. Um, uh, in your response, uh, you stated about the Resource Center, uh, you provide personal assistance. You had said, uh, what does that mean exactly? Well, we can personally assist court users in filling out court forms. If they need to look up any case law, we can show them where they can look that information up as well as statutes. Um, they can, if they have questions about the court process, they, we can answer those questions as well. If they need directions on where to file and how to file, we can give those to them as well. Um, Karen nos explica que en el Centro de Recursos um, 
les ayudo en rellenar los formularios. Y Stephanie, um, es, eh, eh, que es cuando ella, ustedes dicen que brindan ayuda personal a, las, a los clientes, ¿qué significa eso especific específicamente? Específicamente significa que cuando una persona viene de cualquiera de las divisiones que están dentro de la corte, ya sea familia, civil, jurado, eh, nosotros estamos preparados para caminarlo a través del el formulario o si van a buscar un, un caso en cualquiera de las computadoras, ya sea de propietarios inquilinos o algo eh, criminal, nosotros le damos la asistencia en guiarlo correctamente. Wow. Um, Uh, so, uh, if the court user has a legal question, Karen, do you uh, answer the question for them, or? No, we're definitely not allowed to give out legal advice as court staff. We must keep um, a neutral type of uh, presence in the courthouse. Okay. Legal advice is definitely not allowed. <laughs> okay. Um, y uh, Stephanie, uh, cuando los clientes vienen y le tienen una pregunta, uh, buscan alguna Uh, ¿Consejo legal? ¿Se les puede dar algún consejo legal o no? No, como empleados de la corte no le podemos dar eh, asesoramiento legal a nadie. Eh, eso va en, en contra de, nuestra, eh, de, de nuestro código de conducta. Eh, ningún empleado que trabaja en la corte puede hacerlo. Eh, le proveemos con eh, servicios legales o el a, eh, asociado de, de bares, el colegio de asociado de bar. Uh -huh. Es lo único que podemos as, sa, eh, hacer y no podemos eh, dar nuestra opinión sobre sus casos. Yeah. Uh, and so what would someone do if they needed legal advice? Would you, where would you turn them to? We would direct them to the Bar Association or Legal Services of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stephanie, haría lo mismo. Es correcto. Servicios legales o el colegio de abogados. Okay. Um, what other services can a court user expect when they're visiting the center? Um, since we... We first opened in March. Um, we have hosted an expungement seminar, um, which went over very, very well. We were filled to capacity, which we were very excited about. We're going to be hosting another seminar uh, regarding consumer debt in April. And in the future, we're looking to do more, more seminars regarding landlord-tenant and possibly divorce. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of good services. Thank you. Y Stephanie, ¿habrá otros servicios que ustedes les brindan a los clientes? Eh, sí, eh, eh, hacemos todo tipo de seminarios, eh, ya sea eh, buscar eh, antecedentes penales, cosas que pasan en la comunidad o, o eh, cuando se están eh, diciendo que van a dar ayuda en, el, en la estación de bus en Atlantic City para las personas que tienen guarantes o cosas así. Uh -huh. Eso hace, Hacemos seminarios para educar al público y... Eh, que se sepan saber a través de la, se sepan mover a través de la corte. Wow. Um, and so do you host the, when you host these seminars, uh, can people still get help with the paperwork at these seminars? If they're prepared to file, they are more than welcome to afterwards, or if they would like to take it home and review it prior to filing, they can do that as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Y cuando un cliente asiste a, a uno de los seminarios, ¿también pueden traer sus papeles para recibir ayuda? Es correcto. Si ellos están listos y tienen toda la información apropiada, nosotros lo, lo asistimos en lo más eh, que podemos. Oh, muy bien. Uh, I think you may have mentioned before, Karen, uh, that you had mentioned that you have personal computers there mm -hmm. at the center. Yes. Um, are people allowed to use these computers or Yes, yes. yes. Um, we have four computers available. They all do something slightly different. We have one that's totally dedicated to LexisNexis, which is a, a computer program for legal research. Um, we also have one available that has Promise Gavel, which they can look up criminal cases, and another one that has eCourts, which they can look up civil cases. The other two computers have um, access to what's called um, Member Civil Relief Act website. And with a lot of filings, you need proof of non-military service that they can look up that information there as well. Right. Wow. Um, y, igual a usted, Stephanie, uh, las veces que he pasado por allí, parece ser que ustedes tienen unas computadoras modernas. Um, 
las personas pueden usarlas? Sí, las personas pueden usarlas. Eh, hay un, eh, una restricción de límite, solamente se pueden usar por 30 minutos, ya que solamente hay un par de computadoras y otras personas pueden estar esperando para usarla. Y como eh, mencionó la señorita Karen, eh, cada computadora tiene algo en especial. So, hay una computadora designada para buscar eh, casos criminales, la otra casos civiles y la última es para eh, dar el estado de a ver si una persona está en la militar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, what if a court user has a complaint about perhaps a staff member, mm -hmm. they, maybe they felt they weren't treated properly, um, do you handle those kinds of cases at the Resource Center too? Yes, what we would do is we would listen to them to figure out if it was just a misunderstanding or if it's a true complaint. If it is a true complaint, what we would do is we would refer them to our ombudsman. Mm -hmm. oh. Y Stephanie, igual a usted, eh, si alguien tiene alguna queja de algún personal del tribunal o si una persona se sienta, puede sentirse ofendido por algo, ¿ustedes tratan esos casos? Es correcto. Nosotros los escuchamos para asegurarnos de que a ver si simplemente fue un malentendido o si de verdad es una queja. Eh, si es un malentendido, tratamos de educar a las personas. Si no, eh, se lo damos al defensor del pueblo para que... Eh, lo puedan ayudar. Al final todos se escuchan. Correcto. Um, I heard you mention the word before, Karen, the word ombudsman. I think it's a, such an interesting term. I, I've never heard that term <laughs> used anywhere outside of court-related exactly. topics, but uh, could you explain to us what that word means? Yes, it's not the type of word that rolls off your tongue very easily. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but um, ombudsman is a Swedish word that means a person that handles grievances. Wow. Stephanie, Um, ¿Qué quiere decir la palabra ombudsman? Y no sé cuál sería la traducción adecuada para esta palabra. Eh, ombudsman en realidad no tiene un género, eh, no especifica si es hombre o mujer. Simplemente es una persona que maneja las quejas, uh -huh. eh, maneja las quejas a su mejor discreción. Uh -huh. Más o menos como un, un ayudante del público. Es correcto. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, do you get a lot of people coming to you to see you at the resource center? Yes, we do. We do. We do. Um, and statewide, I believe it's been up to 71,000 people that have been helped um, at the resource centers statewide. Uh, since we've opened up in March, we have seen um, over 2,000 court users come in. Um, in Cape May, it's a little bit quieter, but um, they haven't had their initial opening yet, their official opening yet, but that's to come, and hopefully that'll be busy as well. Um, but our, the total physical inquiries that we have um, had, both on the phone and physically, has been over 3,500 people that we've assisted. Wow. So it sounds like a much needed service that, that you guys provide. Thank you. We'll be back after this break, and volveremos después del descanso. Hello, my name is Tom Hegarty. I'm a sergeant with the Cape May County Sheriff's Office. And some of the things that you should know when you enter any of our courthouses is that once you come in, you're going to be screened by an officer at the front desk. So what you should not have on you is any weapons, tools, anything that's going to slow down that process. You're going to come in, put all your metal objects up on the counter, step through the metal detector, listening to the officer's direction. Once you step through, he'll let you know whether you can continue on or whether you should stop. If he stops you, you may have to be wanted with the, with the hand wand. Detect anything else that you may have on you that that's not picking up. So to speed your, your trip along and to help come in, because there may be lines when you come in and there may be delays. So you want to get here early and you also want to have less objects on you that will impede your progress. Welcome back to Meet the Court. Bienvenido otra vez más a Conocer al Tribunal. Uh, we have uh, our two guests, Karen, uh, Michael, and Stephanie de Jesus Vasquez. We were, uh, so why don't we just roll right into the question, and that was um, uh, in Spanish, Stephanie, ¿Llega mucha gente buscando ayuda en el Centro de Recursos? Es correcto. Eh, eh, es en todo el estado completo se han visto 71 mil consultas. Eh, el Centro de Recursos eh, abrió en marzo del 2018 y hasta ahora hemos asistido 2,036 personas. El, el, 
el centro de recursos en Kesmey es un poco más tranquilo porque es estacional y es menos atlántico. So, es un total de 3,548 personas que este centro ha asistido wow. o estos centros han asistido. Desde mayo. Es correcto. Wow. Um, so, uh, to, uh, my question for you, Karen, then, is... Um, Uh, that sounds like there's a lot of people coming into to the Resource Center. Um, do you think it's going to keep getting busier? I do, wow. definitely. Since we've been open, we've noticed a, a steady increase month to month. Um, we have figured out it's partly because of word of mouth. We have court users coming in and letting us know that they've heard from a friend that we're available to help assist them with their forms because filling out the forms can be somewhat intimidating when you're not doing it on a daily basis. Um, There has been a steady increase statewide as well in the resource centers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good to know we're providing that much needed service. Uh, y Stephanie, um, me ha dicho que viene mucha gente buscando ayuda en el centro de recursos. Espera que va a haber más gente todavía en el futuro. Sí, lo hemos visto al día al día, en boca en boca. Eh, las personas le comentan a los amigos, los familiares le comentan a, a, a sus otras personas que conocen y en, especialmente cuando hay una persona que habla su idioma, ahí es cuando más rápido eh, el mensaje se, se, um, se, sí, se, 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 se transmite la palabra. Se transmite, sí. es correcto, uh -huh. muchas gracias. Uh -huh. so, eh, todo el mundo está llegando a a causa de, de la transmisión del mensaje bueno, muy bueno. y más que todo es gratis. Ah, eso es otro llamativo. Sí. Um, going back, Karen, we had talked previously about people coming in and getting help with their paperwork. Um, we, specifically, when, when we say getting help with their paperwork, does that also mean that they can get their complaints filed? Uh, filing is definitely their responsibility. We can't file the forms for them. Um, we can assist them with court procedure and Court, the court process, and we can tell them where to, where to file their papers, but we cannot do, we cannot file them for them. Okay. Um, Stephanie, hemos hablado de que las personas buscan ayuda con sus papeles. ¿Quiere decir eso que las personas pueden también entablar sus casos con ustedes? Eh, no, eh, simplemente le otorgamos la ayuda. Si ellos están listos con la información ya apropiada, nosotros simplemente guiamos a las personas, más no le decimos qué hacer, qué decir, no, no podemos. Eso sería asesoramiento legal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, y, uh, what other kinds of things do you do in the office with so much work? I can't imagine anything else, but um, <laughs> maybe there's something that... We've been busy. Um, we have our Vicinage uh, newsletter. It's called Sound Bites, and that's available for um, our staff to view via an icon on our, on our desktops. And then we also have it available for the public to, to view on NJ Courts. Gov. Um, we also do outreach programs. We have Fugitive Safe Surrender uh, expungement uh, seminars, which we just completed one where I believe it was close to 50, I was at 48, 47 uh, people were able to get their um, court um, criminal records expunged. Um, we do one judge, one school. Um, we document special events via photography. Um, we do a lot at the Resource Center. Wow. Well, we'll be back for more, so please join us after the break. Volveremos y hablar, hablaremos más después del descanso. Hello again. Some of the things that you should know when you're entering a courtroom is there's a certain courtroom etiquette that's expected of you. You should come in, quietly take a seat, remain quiet at all times. You should remove any coverings on your head, hats, hoodies, sit down, take any cell phones, turn them completely off, and have them away. If they are seen out, they can be confiscated. There's an officer that usually sits in the front of the room. He is there for the judge's safety as well as the public safety. So if you're going to ask him a question, instead of just blurting it out or getting up and approaching him, get his att attention discreetly, raise your hand, and he will approach you and ask the question at a quiet level. Okay, thank you. Welcome back to Meet the Court. Bienvenido otra vez más a Conocer al Tribunal. Um, before the break, we were speaking with Ms. Karen Michael, and I cut you off, um, Karen, I'm so sorry. Uh, there were other things that you do as well. Oh, yes, at the Resource Center, there's um, 
what we can do is we um, update, the, we send, can I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, can we do that again? Yeah. Can I just go right now? Okay. okay. Sorry. Lynn, I hope I don't mess up. This is a long part. It's Stephanie's turn to make it. <laughs> ready when you guys are. I'm ready. Welcome back to Meet the Court. Bienvenido otra vez más a conocer al tribunal. Um, Karen, you were saying uh, something about the responsibilities, and I cut you off before the break. What else do you do? Uh, other things we do with the Resource Center is that we're responsible for updates on our vicinage website. So we send the updates to Trenton to have them update the website for our vicinage. And then, most importantly, we participate and um, support Minority Concerns, which is an outreach um, for the community, which the community does volunteer and um, maintains, ac maintains access and fairness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Stephanie, um, entre tantas cosas que suelen hacer ustedes, ¿hay otros deberes o responsabilidades que tienen ustedes? Sí. Eh, eh, nuestra oficina tiene un boletín de noticias de llamado Soundbite en inglés, que es una comunicación en línea frente de un documento en papel. Eh, también apoyan los programas como Un Juez y Una Escuela, eh, documentos especiales. Eh, se documenta todo también por fotografía, eh, como por ejemplo el Día de la Adopción, eh, cere ceremonia del 9-11, eh, abogados jurando en ceremonia y eh, también apoyan el grupo apoyamos el grupo el grupo de comité de preocupaciones de minoría que es gente eh, del público que se ofrece a ser voluntario para mantener eh, la ne, eh, para mantener el, equili el equilibrio del tribunal el enfoque eh, mantener el acceso y la imparcialidad eh, dentro de la corte. También eh, verificamos, hacemos realizaciones de verificación de antecedentes eh, penales para esas personas que quieren limpiar su eh, historial criminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Karen, so it sounds like your job is very focused on service, service mm -hmm. both re reactive and proactive. Yes, yes. Um, so does that sum it up nicely? It does, nicely put. Um, customer service is what our job is truly about. We find that listening and communicating and educating the court users about the court process and how to fill out the court forms is truly what our job is about and what are important factors mm -hmm. in doing our job successfully. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, y Stephanie, um, parece ser que ustedes se enfocan en proveer o otorgar los servicios tanto reactivamente como proactivamente. ¿Sería una explicación más o menos de lo que hacen ustedes? Sí, lo resumen muy bien. Eh, nosotros básicamente eh, nos comunicamos, escuchamos y este, eh, educamos sobre el proceso legal. Eh, tienes que tener mucha paciencia porque hay personas que no tienen conocimiento, así como un día nosotros no lo tuvimos. Eh, la razón que amo hacer este trabajo es porque amo ayudar a las personas y mm. guiarla de la manera apropiada. Um, so, um, can you give us a few examples, Karen, of the types of inquiries that you receive? <laughs> yes, um, we have court users come, that come in and they're inquiring about how they file for divorce. Um, how they would change a court order due to um, life circumstances that have changed. Um, people uh, who aren't receiving child support, uh, they would need to enforce their child support order. There's some of the ones, there's so many things that people come in there for, but those are the, the main ones. The biggest, yeah. yeah. Y Stephanie, um, uh, ustedes, um, ¿qué tipo de preguntas o encuestas tendrá la gente que vienen a buscar ayuda? Eh, lo más frecuente es personas que quieren cambiar una orden judicial eh, porque sus circunstancias ya han cambiado o personas que no han recibido fondos de la manutención y quieren eh, reforzar esa orden judicial. Eh, también hay personas que desean solicitar eh, un divorcio y no tienen abogados. Eh, personas también van porque desean asesoramiento legal, eh, pero como empleados de la corte no podemos dar ese asesor asesoramiento legal eh, como ningún empleado de la corte puede hacerlo. So, básicamente eh, van por muchos motivos, eh, especialmente porque quieren eh, arreglar 
su, su vida personal en papel. Mm -hmm. wow. um, so, when people come in asking you for help, I'm sure they have quite a story to tell you. How do you stay neutral? Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to stay neutral. Um, our job is just to be neutral and just listen and um, judge, help, try to help them through the core process and what they're, they're doing. We're often asked, what should I write? What should I say? And we're just saying, well, we're not allowed to give legal advice. We're not allowed to formulate an opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Stephanie, me imagino que muchas personas vienen para entablar una, un caso y tendrán muchos eh, sentimientos. ¿Cómo mantiene usted la neutralidad entre tanto? Es correcto. Eh, especialmente cuando las personas están pasando el problema y vienen en un nivel de estrés mm. y aunque le estén explicando no comprenden lo que le estás diciendo, la mejor manera de tratar eh, es las personas es ser paciente, escuchar todas las preguntas que tengan. Eh, te van a preguntar cuál es tu opinión, qué usted haría, qué pondría. Simplemente tener paciencia, decirles que no podemos eh, dar asesoramiento legal eh, de ningún tipo. Eh, ser neutral es muy fácil. Simplemente tienes que tener tu mente en blanco y tratar a todos iguales. Mm. Ser neutral en todo momento. Claro. Um, so, if somebody needed to contact you, how would they go about doing so? Well, they, there's three different ways. They, they can either come to the resource center um, personally. They can call us at 609 Four zero two zero one hundred extension four seven zero two two, or they can email us at a t l c a p e help h e l p mailbox dot gov. ¿Cómo se podría comunicarse con el centro de recursos, Stephanie? Si alguien desea de, eh, comuni comunicarse con el centro de recursos, eh, pueden llamar al 609-402-0100, extensión 47220. Hay también eh, un correo que se, hay un correo de voz que se regula, eh, que se revisa regularmente. Eh, y si desean, también pueden ya, eh, mandar un correo electrónico a, al siguiente correo, que es a t l c a p e h e l p m a i l b o x punto g o v eh, es la mejor manera de, de decirlo en español muy bien pues muchas gracias a ustedes dos thank you to both of you thank you uh, for sharing us the good, good work that you're doing and thank you uh, to our listeners uh, for tuning in to meet the meet the court and I want to extend a special thank you to these uh, students here at Cape May Tech. Join us again.